This is a screenshot from the Oracle Cloud Control documentation. It's a good one because it shows us how the multi-tier architecture of Cloud Control works. You see in the middle right, you use the Cloud Control Console web application, which looks like a combination of the 11G Oracle Enterprise Manager and the 12C Database Express. And from that complicated interface, you can manage all of your agents. Now you'll notice that in this diagram, we have a scaled out OMS. OMS stands for Oracle Management Server, and that represents a server that has cloud control installed on it. The bits are locally there and can therefore tap into cloud control. Now this diagram, like I said, shows two OMS instances that are load balanced and being presented to the rest of the organization under a single host name and a single virtual IP address. On the back end of things, notice that we have what's called the Management Repository. The OMS, as it's called, the Oracle Management Server, is itself a web application. It uses WebLogic Server, and it uses an Oracle database itself to store the Management Repository. Interestingly, as of this recording in summer 2014, the OMS in Cloud Control is not validated for Oracle Database 12C. Thus, and you'll see this in our upcoming demo, part of the setup for cloud control and deploying an OMS involves installing a full instance of Oracle Database 11G on your OMS servers. Finally, we have the concept of agent and plugin deployment. You see above the load balancer, we have three boxes. These could be Oracle servers, Microsoft SQL servers, application servers that we want to bring into our cloud. There are several ways that you can deploy the agents. You can run discovery jobs inside of cloud control. You can try to, using SSH and, again, the jobs built into the Oracle Management Server, push out the agent software, or you could do a pull from the client. The bottom line is you need to install the management agent on all machines that will be incorporated as targets in your OMS infrastructure. That takes some work on the front end. Once you've completed that work, however, though, things get a lot easier to manage and you can start looking at pretty pictures and graphs and raise alerts and have alerts raised for you in the Cloud Control Console.